Hello and welcome to MobiMook. I'm really happy that you're here. So, benvenuto, namaste, uh, ciao, willkommen, karibu, jebo, salam aleikum, mashkar, konnichiwa, ni hao, and of course, dobro pojalovic to our Russian speaking friends, and in goeiedag. I am Inge de Waard, also known as Ignacia. I'm from Belgium, hence my Flemish accent. And if you read my English, you will see that it's Flemish-inspired English. So if you're not a native English speaker or writer, it doesn't matter. We just gather around uh, on the subject of mobile learning, and I hope we will all enjoy it. I'm sure of it. Now, why MobiMOOC? The initiative came because I felt there was a lack of mobile learning courses for free and I wanted to get all of us, and with us I mean everyone interested in mobile learning, around the table to exchange our ideas, our challenges, our hopes, our dreams and possibly for those with experience, our experiences. I definitely want to thank the facilitators and speakers that are willing to guide all of us on one of the specialized topics because all of us are volunteers and we are putting quite a lot of time in it. So thank you to everybody and thank you of course for joining because you make the course. Without it, it would be nothing. What can you expect in a MOOC? Well, a MOOC is always a little bit chaotic so it's important that you feel at ease with chaos if possible. You will not be able to follow all the threads. You will not be able to follow all the ideas that are exchanged. It's very normal. So don't get nervous. If you feel that you're getting nervous, just step out for a day and come back in. If that doesn't work, step out for two days and come back in. There are also some guidelines uh, on the wiki course on how to stay on top of the information. And for this specific MobiMOOC, I took the initiative to slightly change the MOOC architecture, let's say. Normally a MOOC goes one week after the other, focusing on one subject after the other. In this case, I thought, why not try a piece tree architecture, starting with one topic, going to three topics, going to more topics. Or the reason behind this decision was that I saw that many people drop out of a MOOC after one, two weeks. So now I have a list of topics to choose from, so I hope the dropout rate will decrease a little bit. Well, let's hope so. I have two questions to ask you. I would love you to add your name uh, to the Google map, which I have on the introduction to mLearning page. That way we can see from where we come from and it's, well, it might just bring us closer together. And the second request is very personal, it's really voluntary, it, but I, I, part of this Moby MOOC will be used in a research I'm doing for a master thesis on, in distance education, specifically mobile learning, and it will look into the differences in learning interactions on mobiles or on a desktop. Now I'm looking for people who are willing to invest a bit of their time in research, meaning 20 minutes for an online survey and or, because you can choose, an interview of like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It would really help me out and I will analyze the data and then give you the full report with the survey, with the conclusions and everything in a free report to later. So, but it has, you don't have to do it. If you say, look, I don't have the time or I'm, I'm just not up for it, it's okay. And it's also depersonalized. So if you decide to enter the research, I'm not going to mention your name in the report. It's anonymized. Big research. Oh, yes something else. I have this mm, list of things I wanted to cover. Each topic will be 
guided or facilitated by an expert in that area. And normally each expert will give a short synchronous live session of about uh, 60 minutes on the subject and possibly invite other uh, guest speakers as well on, speci on those specific topics. So you're free to come along into those synchronous sessions. We are trying to plan them in all time zones, but it's a little bit difficult. Nevertheless, we have facilitators from across the world, so that makes it a little bit easier to give a variety of timings. I also have, ah yes, and of course a very important information. In the first week, I would like you so to add your name to the Google Map, but also to start planning your mobile learning project. If you have something in mind, it's a good thing to start. And I'm willing to read any mobile learning overviews you might have. And I would love to see that we can discuss collaboratively on those uh, mobile learning projects, because all of us can add a little bit to each and one of our projects. In the end, so after three weeks, if you have built a mobile learning project overview, like on the template, we are going to have a small, I wouldn't call it a contest, but a small invitation for people to select which mobile learning project would have the most human impact. So adding a little bit of good to the world. And the one who is chosen by all of us, by the MobiMo participants, will get $500. And why? Because I choose to. Why not? We can do it. So that's fun. And that's about all I wanted to say. I hope you have a good time. I surely hope that you exchange any ideas, any challenges. If you make a blog post about something, please tell me. I will send it around because after each week, the facilitator of that week will be asked to do a roundup uh, mail or post and in which all the blog posts are mentioned, in which big ideas that emerge from that during that week are mentioned and some extra information, possibly bookmarks and something like that. So I really hope that you have a good time and looking forward to getting to know you better. Thank you. Bye.